So today's uh, lecture is on uh, containers, specifically sets and dictionaries. So let's start off with sets. Like what is a set? So set is a container that stores a collection of unique values. So if you remember your sets uh, from elementary math, so what is a set? Set is, like in mathematics, a set is a number of, uh, sorry, a collection of numbers and nothing is repeated in a set, right? So similarly, it stores unique values and they are stored in no particular order. Okay, example. Uh, so this is just showing you like different sets. So this is a set of three colors. This is a set of two colors. This is a set of three colors, uh, different colors uh, and so on. And we'll use this example uh, later. So the ordering in a set does not matter, right? Red comes before white or green or white comes before red or green. We don't know and we and it does not matter when we talk about sets, okay? So in Python specifically, how do you create sets? So to create sets, you can specify the element's name in curly braces. Okay, so what's happening in this line? You're creating a set called cast. And what are the members of that set? It's three strings. One is Luigi, Gumby's, and Spiny. Okay, and that's another thing. So if it's a set of strings, you cannot add comma one. Okay, so they have to be elements of the same type. Okay. Uh, and in which order they are stored, we don't know and we don't care. It's all up to the compiler. Okay. A compiler may store uh, Luigi first, then uh, Spiny, and then Gumby's. Okay. Because ordering in sets does not matter. Secondly, uh, second method of creating uh, sets is that if you have a list, right, uh, you can convert it into uh, a set also. So if you remember in list, everything has its own index, right? If you want to remove those indices or you you want to create a set uh, in your code for whatever matter. What I'm saying is that you don't have to, but if you need to, you can use a list, convert it into a set, okay? In this class, I don't think you will be required to do so, but in uh, some like uh, scientific applications, you may need to uh, do that. Why? Because sets are much faster. Okay. So how do you do that? You take a list, you just put it in uh, parentheses of the function called set. And then cast here is defined as a set of names. Okay. Uh, so names is different. Cast is different. One is a list. The other is a set. Okay. Then how do you create an empty set? Obviously using the set command with empty parentheses. Okay. How, do, how can you find the length of a set or the size of a set? The command is len. So in len, uh, short for length, you give in the set name. In this case, it's zero because the set was empty. Okay. Then, if you remember, uh, when we talked about the for loop, we said for some element in a container, right? For element in container. Similarly, you can check, apply the same uh, logic, if some element, whatever that element is, a string or an integer or whatever, in the container. So in this case, the container is a set. So a container be, can be a set, a list, a string, a dictionary that we're going to talk about next and so on, right? So if Luigi is in this set, do this thing. Else, do this thing. Okay? And how do you access an element? You just say print that element. So if you look at the uh, for loop here, what's happening in this for loop? So what we are saying is for element, 
element happens to be a character like the a variable name is character it can be anything we can just say for x in cast print x same result so x here or character here is just another variable so for variable in a container or set do this thing and when you print character it will so in this for loop it will print all the characters in that set okay and since they are unordered, you cannot access uh, using an index. You have to write a loop to access all the elements. Okay. Then the display, it may be in this order on your compiler. It may be the other order. Luigi may come first. Spiny may come second or third. Uh, does not matter because the ordering in sets does not matter. It's how the compiler has stored them it will retrieve them that way and we cannot say that put luigi at index one we just cannot say that with sets so if you really want to sort it you can use the sorted function but again um, that uh, sorting basically depends on uh, will return a list and then you can uh, what do you say uh, I think the sort functions uh, sorts it in uh, ascending alphabetical order okay and then sets are also mutable meaning that you can increase or decrease their size with the command to add the command is add to remove its discard okay so for instance, if you create a set from a list like this, then you can add members to that set by just the add command and give the appropriate data type in there. So here we are adding Arthur and then Spiny. And you can see like uh, since Spiny is already in the set, it is not added to the set. Okay. So since Arthur was not, it was added. And since it's a set, sets have that property that it's unique elements. So a second spiny will not be ordered in the set. Then discard is if you want to discard a specific member from a given set. Okay. So there are two methods given in Python. One is discard, the other is remove, okay? So discard is that it will try to remove an element, whether that element exists in the set or it does not. For instance, Arthur was in the set, so discard uh, worked and it just removed. If you write cast.discard the kernel, this has no effect because the kernel is not a member of this set. Okay. Now, what should ideally happen is some kind of exception should be raised. Uh, some kind of error should be given to the programmer or the user that, hey, you're trying to delete some element that does not exist in the set. Right. So for that, there is this remove command. So if you try to say, cast dot remove you will get an exception meaning an error flag on an error will be raised now then in the last classes like in the last week we'll see how you can deal with those kinds of errors and what does raising an exception mean okay but for now just notice the difference that discard will not raise an exception it has no effect even if that member does not exist, it, it'll just do nothing. While remove, if the element is not there in the set, it will raise an exception. And then you can handle it in a graceful manner. And that is the last week's stuff that we'll see. Okay. Finally, if you just want to uh, remove all the elements in one go, you can just say set name dot clear command. Okay. So it will just clear out the whole set, empty it out. 
then subsets just like uh, elementary math sets can have subsets right so the canadian flag is a subset of the british flag because it has only two colors british has three similarly uh, you can have uh, overlaps you can have unions and so on so all the elementary math stuff applies so you can check whether something is a subset of another set uh, whether it's not a subset so here it's not a subset there is some uh, common elements but it's not a complete subset right so what's the method method is is subset okay so you say if one set is uh, uh, subset of the other set okay so if it is it returns true so you can come in right if not italian so here you're just putting a not to check it if you just say if italian dot is subset british it will return false so it will never come inside this if condition when you put a not this is false not of false becomes true so you come inside the if and print this okay but the function is is subset then you can test whether two sets are equal or not using the equal equal and not equal if and only if they have exactly the same elements okay again the case the number of elements the uh, the number the characters in those strings they all have to match ordering does not but uh, like in the other set uh white blue red can be there like the ordering does not matter but the members uh, number of members and the case if they are strings they should match okay only then will the equal equal return true then like i said you can have uh, union intersection and difference like all those things just like math the command is dot union you can create a new variable equals one set dot union another set okay and it will remove duplicates if there are okay similarly intersection you can just say first set dot intersection the other set and you will get elements in both similarly or finally difference difference is first set minus the second set you will get those elements right so italian is these three colors minus uh, the colors in the british flag which were these two so difference gives you only green okay and similarly for uh, if you do british minus italian it will give you only blue or sorry british dot difference italian will give you this okay then there are some set operations i've listed them on the slide uh, you can just uh, read these any functions that you may need okay uh and then also a point to remember is that these operations will return new sets meaning that if you do this it will return a new set whether you store it in a new variable or like on this slide or you don't you just print it it's up to you but it will return a new set meaning that if you want to create a new set you can just put a variable name equals and do this and you will get a new set they will not modify the original sets okay okay